Hello, everyone. Have you been listening lately? Have you been hearing what's out there? Have you been listening? Because this is a great time of year to listen. Listen. Hear what's wafting through the air. Hear the melodies that are coming. Hear what's being said to you. The Doobie Brothers, back in 1972, wrote a wonderful anthem <laughs> these days called Listen to the Music. And their hope was, as they wrote that as college young men, that they would have that song be get before world leaders, that they would hear the melodies and rhythms that they would stop the war in Vietnam. Lofty goal. But since 1972, that song has been sung and continues to be sung, Listen to the Music. Now, I'm just going to read a couple lines to it because those couple lines have to do with what we're talking about today, listening to the music. It simply says, don't you feel it growing day by day? People getting ready for the news. Some are happy. Some are sad. Whoa. Got to let the music play. When people, what people need is a way to make them smile. It ain't hard to do so if you know how. Get a message. Get it through. Oh, mama, don't ask me why. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Listen to the music. Listen to the music. Whoa, listen to the music. Don't you feel it growing day by day? People getting ready for the news. Some are happy. Some are sad. Whoa, got to let the music play. What people need is a way to make them smile. It ain't hard to do so if you know how. Got to get the message. Got to get it through. Listen to the music. And that's the idea for us. Listen to the music. We hear Christmas carols all over the place now, secular and religious. But listen. Now, when you listen, what are you listening for? Because that's important. Years ago, when I talked to young people about rap and other types of music, I say, listen to the lyrics. See, those are lyrics you can agree with. Listen to what they're saying to you. But what am I listening for, listening for now, this time of year? I'm listening for the rhythm. I'm listening for the rhythm, which will help me rap, match the rhythm of the Father's heart. Because the rhythm is the beat that helps us pulse, that helps us hear, that helps us feel and understand and know the rhythm. Whether it's a jazz rendition, a gospel rendition, or a, a rendition that comes straight out of the Middle Ages. The rhythm of it calls you because it helps you to be still. Then you're listening for the melody. What's the melody saying to your heart? The things that just kind of touches you there somewhere deep down inside. It helps you, oh yes, the melody, the sweetness of the words, the ways that they fall upon your ear, the way that they meet you where you are, the melody that may makes you want to sing. Then you're listening for the orchestration. I like the orchestration because sometimes it just moves my soul so God can speak to me with a listening heart. That's because the orchestration, whether it's a very quiet, la, 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 a very loud and moving, because what orchestration does is, it helps you move from spot to spot and place to place. You're listening. So whether you're listening to angels we have heard on high, joyful, joyful, or the ode to joy, silent night, listen for the orchestration, the way the music is played, because that moves you to where the Father wants you to be, for what the Father wants you to hear. Then listen to, I'm listening to the harmonies. The harmonies. That put my soul to rest. I grew up listening to the Temptations and the Four Tots, and and the harmonies that they would do were so wonderful. Even Nat Cole, as he would sing with different groups, that harmonies that just kind of make you rest. And then, of course, you're listening to the words, because the words of most of the Christmas carols words we sing and hear today lead you directly to Jesus. They help you to hear him, to remember, to understand again, and be reminded 
of what God has done and what God is doing, why we pause this time of year to celebrate what God has done. Listen to the music. Listen for the orchestration. Listen for let the rhythm move you. Listen to the melody. Listen to the words. Listen to the harmony. Because in all of those, the Father is speaking to you, reminding you that Jesus has come. I know many of us have our favorite carols. And as we have our favorite carols, we listen for them on the radio. But rather that, whether that carol comes to you in a, in a rap beat, a jazz, a jazz rhythm, or full orchestration, understand that the Father is there speaking to you. Because he's using all the elements of music, all the elements to speak to you, to remind us of what he has done in sending us his son. Take a moment before you get on a podcast, before you go running to watch TV or checking out whatever is on the news, listen to the music. Because what happens when we listen to the music? It puts our soul at rest. It helps us to hear and see and understand what God is doing. Many people go to sleep by music at night. Why? Because it helps their soul to rest. Listen to the music. Because this time of year, music, the carols, helps your soul to rest. They make your mind relax. Many doctors will tell us listening to the type of music you listen to will help your blood pressure go down. What's the idea there? That God is using this time of year to help us hear him, to help us see him, to help us know him, to remind us again that he has sent his son as our savior. I encourage you, listen to the music. Listen to what God is saying. Why? Because God is always speaking to us to remind us of who he is and what he has done. Be blessed, my dear friends. Father, we thank you for the gift of song, the gift of music. It's orchestrations, it's rhythms, it's melodies, it's harmonies. Lord, thank you. Because, Father, this time of year, they all remind us of you and point us to you. In your name, Jesus, we pray and thank you. Amen. Be blessed again today, my friends.